do for a new bag you soon. Just the tip. It takes money. Good morning. It is 20 after 6 now. And it's Monday morning. So happy Monday. Happy start of the week. We are going to be doing a day in my life as a freelancer, as a contractor. Just come along with me on a day in my life working from home. My schedule is a lot more flexible now as a contractor, as someone who's on like a freelance contract. So I thought I would take you guys along. It looks a little bit different than it did when I was in London and working for a company and just like working from home, working hybrid. Just thought I'd bring you guys along for today. It is supposed to be decent out today. Like I think this week it's supposed to be warming up. Last week it was really cold again. Um, but we're gonna just make a coffee. It's six, almost 6.30 now, like I said. Ooh, and I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago. I'm gonna make a coffee and I'm actually gonna plan and organize for the first like hour of my morning and then we're gonna go to the gym because I just didn't feel like going right when I opened my eyes this morning. So that's what we're gonna do. And I also wanted to wait until it got kind of brighter out to walk to the gym. We're gonna have a cozy little first hour of our morning just organizing and kind of easing into the morning and then we're gonna go to the gym. Right, we're back from the gym. It is actually like it's pretty cold out, but it's really nice. Like it was sunny. It just felt good to get outside and like walk to the gym, do my workout, walk back. Feels like really great start to my Monday morning. But I did pick up some almond milk on my way home. I know this stuff isn't great, but this stuff, it's like a quarter of the price. No, like a third of the price. I tried I bought this yesterday, the Elmhurst stuff, because it's literally just almonds and water, which is like so much better for you um, in terms of ingredients. The calories are like way higher, which is not why I bought another one. I don't actually care, but it's interesting, like with two ingredients, but maybe like all the additives is why this is lower in calories, which is horrible. Like this has so many more ingredients, <laughs> but it's way cheaper and I didn't want to be like, using this in my smoothies and stuff because I use quite a bit in my smoothies so I just like because this is cheaper I'll save this for like my coffees and my teas and stuff and I also got this it was on like special or something when I went to farm boy yesterday and it's the caramel macchiato oat creamer you only need like a tiny bit it's actually way sweeter than I was expecting it to be for like it barely has any ingredients in it either so I didn't think it would have that much flavor, but it is very sweet. So you only need like a dash, but it's kind of fun to like, I mixed these two in my coffee this morning in the frother. I just put like mostly the almond milk and then a splash of this and it frothed really well. And my silk almond milk, the small kind, like I don't know what the science is. I know I talk about it all the time, but like this bottle froths well, this exact same one, but in like the shelf stable version does not froth at all. So if someone knows the answer to that, please let me know. Anyway, we're full of milks now. I actually need to do like a big grocery shop today, but I just wanted to grab that because I'm gonna make a smoothie when I get out of the shower. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab a shower because I feel sweaty and I wanna be clean and then we're gonna get changed for our work from home day and get to work. All right, we're showered and we're changed. And we're eating our smoothie bowl. It's so good. I'm gonna work from here for a little while. I'll probably move into my room go to my desk in a little bit, but I just wanna eat my breakfast and enjoy just sitting on the couch and working from here for a little bit. But morning of work has started. When I use vegan protein, it doesn't do this, but when I use the whey, it kinda of makes like the smoothie bowl like a foamy texture, I don't know. 
don't know how I feel about it. But we'll keep testing things out. I love the banana and raspberry combo. It's so good. I don't think I showed you guys, but same old. It is already the afternoon somehow. Don't know how that happened, but I am starting to get hungry and I wanted to go do my grocery shop this afternoon on my lunch break instead of after work because after work I'd like to do some other personal things. Life of a freelancer and someone who creates content as a hobby, obviously. <laughs> And I want to do a little bit of meal prep tonight too because it's Monday. I didn't want to do it yesterday because I did like a lot of other cleaning and stuff this weekend. So we're doing some meal prep tonight. And I feel like Monday is a nice night to do meal prep, but I'd rather have the groceries beforehand. And then that way tonight when I get off of work and log off and shut my computer, I can just take three steps into my kitchen and start meal prepping and I don't have to go out to the grocery store. So we're gonna do that now because I live really close to one of the grocery stores. So I'm just gonna go there and do my shop from that one today. And just, I feel like I can definitely get it done in an hour and then I'll come back, make a quick lunch and log back into work and get some work done this afternoon. I don't have like specific lunch hours or anything, like I said, because I am like a freelancer, a contractor, but one of the projects that I work on is with a company and they have lunch hours. So I like to take my lunch around then just so that when they're back online, I'm also online. But again, I have everything on my phone and I'm no longer than like 10 minutes away from my place if there was anything urgent that came up. So that's really nice. We're gonna pop our little headphones on. Got my bagus with me because as you guys know now, I don't go anywhere without these. My banana and my tomato and heart one, literally my favorite. I think I'm due for a new bag you soon, don't you guys think? I've had these two forever and they have done me so well and obviously I'll keep them for as long as they live. Um, this one is does have like a little hole in the bottom but I'm never throwing her out. Like the tomatoes and the hearts, I'm just like obsessed forever and always. But I think I'm due for a new one, I could use three. But we're gonna pack these into my purse and we've got my keys, my sunnies because it's still nice out and we're just gonna head out the door. Oh my God. First of all, it is so nice out right now. Like absolutely gorgeous. It really feels like spring today. Also, I just did walk to the grocery store, did my grocery shop and came back all in under an hour, which I feel like is record time for me because I always spend so much time in the grocery store. This one is just a lot closer to me than I thought it was. I don't go there enough. Anyway, I actually spent $97 on all of these groceries, which under hundred in Canada right now, not too bad for like the meals for the rest of my week so we'll do a quick grocery haul obviously i had to get some of this because i haven't had it in a little while and by a little while i mean like a week but this popcorn is just so good so the lesser evil stuff and then i got some riced cauliflower i think yeah <laughs> um for no particular reason other than i am too lazy to make rice right now and the microwavable rice here is the selection is really bad it's really expensive and it's not good the stuff in the uk was so much better um, I got some peas for a recipe I'm doing. I need to throw those in the freezer now. I got some frozen broccoli, again for the recipe, and then some frozen edamame for a different recipe. So I'll throw these in the freezer now and then we'll get back to it. Then I got some bananas that are very not ripe <laughs> at all, but the only ones were either super green or way too overripe, so we're just gonna let them ripen. Then we'll freeze them and use them for smoothies. I still have a couple left in the freezer, so we're all good for smoothies for the next couple of days at least. Then I got some cherry tomatoes for a recipe, some mushrooms, a um, couple Honeycrisp apples, some chickpeas, some minced garlic because I just, yeah. I'm, I don't last time I had this like trauma from doing my own garlic like mincing it and cutting it and whatever and then I could smell it on my fingers and anytime I sweat like at the gym it's all I could smell for like three days <laughs> so now I really like to get this stuff um and then I also got garlic powder and onion powder because I don't have that I really need to up my um spices and seasonings game because all I have is salt and pepper right now and I got white pearl couscous because i was supposed to do an orzo recipe and they, i couldn't find orzo in that grocery store it is a pretty small one so i got pearled couscous instead i guess i could have just got like any other pasta but that just sounded fun and different and then i got some basil i was gonna get butter but they didn't have a very good selection and the butter was really expensive is butter expensive these days i haven't bought butter in a long time um and then i got some egg whites and some eggs i got 
two things of skipjack tuna, some blackberries because they were on sale and I haven't had blackberries in a long time. I got some sliced olives, one lemon, two yellow onions, and look how small they are. Why are they the tiniest things ever, but they're so cute. I need these for a recipe. I got half of a red cabbage, which is really nice. They were selling it in half because the big ones last forever. So this will be good. I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna do like a pearled couscous and turkey meatball recipe. And then I'm also gonna do tofu and veggie bowls, some egg stuff. Um, so like obviously my classic breakfast stuff with like smoothie bowls, granola bowls, yogurt bowls, all of that. And I think that's it. I also got this rye bread. I was gonna get sourdough, but I haven't had rye bread in a long time and this stuff was just calling it my name. Just looked really good. And then I got ground turkey and some olive oil. And that's it. But you know what, for under a hundred bucks, for all the meals I'm gonna be making, I do have a block of tofu left in my fridge, so I didn't need to buy that. And also I did need to buy like a couple things that I was out of, so like olive oil and some seasonings and like beans and stuff, which I find always bulks up the expense, but not too bad. And that's gonna get me through the week, so. We have migrated to the standing desk because I don't have a chair. I mean, I could sit on one of the outside chairs, which I've done before, but they're super uncomfortable to sit at for like an extended period of time, obviously. So we're gonna stand for a little while because I've been sitting on the couch for a bit. So I could use the standing and I need to get like an hour more of like focus work done. So just thought I would change up my environment and it's light and bright in here right now because the light comes in really nicely in the afternoon in my bedroom. So just gonna get some more work done in here and then we'll be logging off for the afternoon, which is crazy. I can't believe how fast today has gone. Like my work is just keeping me very busy. Also, <laughs> someone commented on my last video <laughs> and said, said, why is there literally no color in your apartment? Were you terrorized by, <laughs> were you terrorized by a colorful bird as a child? I was like, okay, that is a creative troll message. But I was like, um, I literally just moved in. Thank you. I'm, it, I have to take my time to decorate. It takes like a lot of effort and a lot of money to decorate. So I haven't been able to put things in here yet. So yes, it's very bare bones. It's very like not colorful right now, but it will be. And even if it wasn't, that would be okay. But I'm, I definitely like color. Like I don't want it to be like all just white. But my sheets are green <laughs> and my little banana tray is colorful. But no, yeah, I like, I agree with the sentiment. I do like color. I don't, like I said in my last video as well, so maybe they didn't actually watch the whole video. I don't want my place to be like sterile and feel like it's not lived in. Like I want color. I want it to feel like homey and welcoming. Um, and for me that includes color. But anyway, I don't have that right now because it just takes a lot of time when you're like starting from scratch pretty much. Like I had to buy all new furniture, all new things, every, like there's just so many things you have to think about when you move into a new place and you're starting from scratch. So yeah, so to you, I promise there will be more color in my apartment at some point, upcoming. Subscribe if you wanna see that. And yeah, I thought their comment was kind of funny, but color is coming, okay? People, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes money. I'm making the money right now, so I gotta go back to doing that. We have officially logged off for the day. So now we're gonna do a little bit of batch prepping before I do a little bit more computer work, like personal computer work, because I wanna break from my screen. And I was gonna do like a full blown meal prep, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. I find the day that I buy groceries, I have a hard time like cooking a big meal that same day for some reason, I don't know why. So like, to, anyway, I'm going to like cut up some veggies, have things prepped and like washed and ready to grab and go. And I might even cook some of the couscous for the recipe that I'm gonna do tomorrow. And then I also need to make turkey meatballs, but those are for the dinner tomorrow night. I might save the actual making of the turkey meatballs for tomorrow, but like do everything else that I can today. So like chop, wash, dry, prep, 
kind of everything and then I think I will do the couscous as well just have that ready to go and then we can mix it all together and like kind of grab and go for the rest of the week and then tonight I'm kind of just doing like a random dinner because I wanted to like use up some of the stuff that I had in the fridge from the previous couple of days before starting to use up the new stuff that I bought today for the rest of the week so that's the plan now I'm gonna like turn on a little podcast I changed from my work from home sweats to my after work sweats <laughs> And I know that seems silly, but it actually makes a difference. Like it feels like a transition, you know, it feels like I'm coming back from work or I'm finishing off something and starting something different. So I feel like that maybe for some people would be a good hack and a good tip. It definitely works for me where I like separate my time a little bit. Now that I work fully remote, I feel like I need rules and routines and little things that like help me separate working from home and kind of logging off. Otherwise, I'm just going to feel like I... I'm constantly on so one of those things is definitely like exiting out of my email and my teams and like all of that and just kind of not that I'm not accessible because in some of the projects that I work like if there was an emergency I definitely can be available but um, if not like you know you got to set boundaries as a freelancer that's definitely a big tip and for me not even as a freelancer just like as someone who works from home I've done it before I was hybrid when I was in London, as you guys know, unless you're new here and you wouldn't know, I worked in London and I was working a hybrid job there and now I'm working fully remote in Toronto uh, for a totally different thing. I'm doing freelance work, um, so I'm a contractor, but which I've mentioned a thousand times in this video, so. <laughs> but yeah, just another tip of like changing, changing the environment, but also changing my clothes. I, I actually feel like, uh, I actually feel like I've changed like four or five times in this video already which is hilarious but it's because I went to the gym then I came home and I changed and then I went to the grocery store and then I came back and I changed and now I am changing from my work from home to my after work sweats and I also don't think I showed you guys these I was gonna do the whole jumping thing again but that never really works out for me does it but I got new slippers <laughs> I got them the other day I don't think I showed them to you but they're so cute um and I just didn't have any because they left my other ones in London because they were getting crusty anyway so I was like you know what these can stay here, we'll get a new pair. And that we did. So we got our new slippers on, we got our little after work sweats on. We're gonna do some meal batch prepping. Not some crazy meal prepping right now, but batch prepping. It's kind of nice that I can just like take my mornings slower and not have to prep like overnight oats every single night. But I have been having my smoothies every day. <laughs> So that's been good. I'm gonna have another smoothie tomorrow, but I'm gonna try it with my vegan protein because remember I was telling you guys that vegan protein that I got was disgusting. I'm thinking if I make it into like a protein smoothie tomorrow with like peanut butter and or almond butter and like cinnamon, banana, all of that, I feel like it will really, <coughs> excuse me, it will really mask the taste a little bit. And my issue is, this is my issue. That whey protein that I got is really good. Like the taste is really good in comparison to the vegan one that I have, but it creates a really weird texture in my yogurt bowls, but especially in the smoothies and smoothie bowls that I've been having. I don't know what it is about whey protein, but it makes it like foamy, I think I was saying today. And then the vegan protein I find is a better texture for me when I blend it with things, which I know is an unpopular opinion. Like most people do not like the texture of vegan protein, but when I blend it, like when I make it into my yogurt bowls or when I put it into smoothies, it doesn't do that weird, like, I don't even know what the science is behind it, but it like just blends normally and doesn't make like this weird new texture to the smoothie. So that's, and now I have to find one that doesn't do the weird texture thing and tastes good. So I am still open to suggestions. I still like, like that protein. It's just, I'm gonna have to use it for certain things and not for other things. That is the spiel on the kitchen things that are happening and going on in the next little while. And then we'll get back to my computer to do a couple more things. And then it'll be dinner and chill time for me. I just had dinner, which I completely forgot to show you guys, which is so rude, but I just used some of the stuff that I batch prepped today. So I had some of the couscous, some of the veg, and then I made some turkey meatballs, just some frozen ones that I had, and then I'm actually making fresh ones tomorrow. 
but it was literally just veggies, couscous, and meatballs, and it was delicious. Very easy throw together meal tonight because I didn't feel like doing a lot of cooking. Oh, I squished something on the floor. I need to clean that up. But we have our candle lit. We're gonna turn the lights down, make a little tea, obviously have a little chocolate, and that's gonna be my night, which means it's a wrap on my day in my life, working from home my, as a freelancer, contractor, whatever you wanna call it, just a day in my life, working remotely, working for myself. Um, I think we had a pretty productive day, you know, we got some work done, we got a workout in, did some grocery shopping, batch prepped some food, um, did a little bit of editing, lots of work, and then we had some dinner and now we're gonna have some chill time. It's 8.30 now, so I'm just gonna chill for the next like hour and a half, drink my tea and unwind for the rest of the night and then hold me accountable. I'm gonna read tonight because I've been saying I was gonna read for literally ever and I have not been back into reading. I feel like now is the perfect time. So before I go to bed, I will be reading tonight and then we're gonna get some shut eye and have an early morning again tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below. It really helps the engagement of my videos and it helps YouTube push my videos and my channel out to other people, which would be so amazing. So if you do like it, then please like the video and subscribe and you'll see lots more videos like this, lots more coming up. Comment down below what you wanna see from me in the upcoming months. I have lots of ideas, but I would love to hear from you guys and I'll see you in the next one.